Hi everyone, here's a challenge that I have for this short video. We're going to see how to best reduce the pressure drop of the exhaust system you're seeing here. And the question is really, how to optimize this design to reduce the pressure drop? How to identify the region which will have the most influence on the pressure drop? Would we do physical testing? Well, that sounds pretty expensive and time consuming. I really want to use simulation, but do I need to define tens of geometrical parameters and perform hundreds of simulations? There must be a smarter and faster solution than that. Of course there is a smarter and faster solution. It's the adjoint solver. In only four simulations, we are able to reduce the pressure drop by 12%. And here is a new design. How did we get there? How do we get to visual key information like area of the geometry that affect the performance the most. How do we get key information indicating us how to modify the geometry to get better performance out of the design? In which direction to modify the geometry by which amplitude? Now let's see how that's done in ANSYS Fluent 16. First, we're going to define our ob observable. Obviously, this is a pressure drop. This is what we want to optimize. We'll define it between our four inlet and the outlet. Then we make sure we're minimizing the pressure drop. Next, we'll set up the adjoint solver. Now, here is really what I want you to understand is the adjoint solver is like another solver. For example, like a CFD solver, it will solve a given set of equations. And that's why what you're seeing here is pretty close to what you would see when setting up a CFD solver. Next, I'm setting up the control of the adjoint solver. And really, the only thing I want to show you here is I will select auto adjust controls. And that's really the best way to set up the adjoint solver because what will happen is the solver will automatically adjust to make sure it converges. Next, I set up my residual monitors. Again, the same way you would set up residual monitors for a CFD solution. And again, as a CFD solver, I will initialize the adjoint solution and calculate the adjoint solution. We monitor the simulation and let the adjoint solver converge. And now is where the engineering work starts. We're going to use the results of the adjoint solver and say that we want to modify the geometry of the wall to reduce the pressure drop. We're going to apply the target. Then we go into the region and actually define which part of the geometry we want to modify because we don't want to modify the inlet and the outlet for example etc. So here is the region we will modify. That's really where we want to get the best design and the best geometry to make sure we reduce the pressure drop. So very easy to see on the GUI. Then we're gonna set up our region condition and uh, do we have any uh, symmetry? Do we have any other uh, boundary to take care of, etc., etc.? Then we can put some design condition. We're not going to have any here, but design condition is really where you can input uh, constraint, constraint on the, the motion of some of the walls, etc., etc. Exactly as you can see here, where you have a fixed wall constraint bounded by a plane constraint, etc. Then we set up the numerics for the actual uh, change in shape and we're all set. We go back to the design change, but no one is to calculate the design change, which we're doing very easily, just one click of a button. Now I showed you how to set up the adjoint solver, how to run it, and how to set up a shape optimization based on the results of the adjoint solver. What I wanted to do now is actually to show you the type of result the adjoint solver is giving us and how it performs those change in shape. What you're looking at is the shape sensitivity magnitude with regard to the pressure drop. And what you're seeing is the region that influence the pressure drop the most are A, the elbow, and B, the region where the four inlet joins. And what we decided to do in this study, as you remember seeing the box on the GUI previously, is we decided to optimize the region where the four inlet joins. And here the adjoint solver has the entire information on how the actual shape of this region impact the pressure drop. 
which means it knows how to change it to reduce the pressure drop. I am sure you know agree that the R joint solver is a fast and smart shape optimization technique. The process I showed you, do it four times and look at the original geometry and the optimized one with 12% reduction in pressure drop. From everyone at ANSYS, thank you very much for your time and attention.